Hi guys, it's Amy with Aim to Plan, and today I am back continuing my setup for 2022. So you can see here, I've got a new planner. Um, I was aiming to not buy any new planners, but I saw this planner at Walmart on clearance and I just had to have it just because it's so beautiful and I had an idea for what I wanted to do with it. So um, just to do a quick flip through of this planner, this is one of the August 2021 to July 2022 um, Back to school release planners um, inside is a classic vertical so again I'll just do a quick clip through of it just so you can see it um, it says it has this like nice marbling effect I love this like inside cover right here and again it starts in August um, and runs 12 months until July um, and so these are the beginning pages here nice and neutral and very clean this currently page right here is super clean um, and just like really nice um, and then this one Happy Mind, Happy Life is the first divider. And this is what the monthly looks like. Again, like just very clean, um, like just nice and neutral for pretty much anything that you would want to do. Um, and so this is the vertical layout. Um, you can see here it's like, again, very neutral. I've said neutral like six times already, but it is just a very clean slate. Um, and all the pages look like that. Um, the I think the third week of every month has like a tiny quote down here but you can see otherwise it's just like very thin lines there's the numbers and outline with the month here and then like it's dot grid right here and a little small graph section that says important with one two and three um and so every page just kind of looks like that with like the third week having the quote um and so again just a quick flip through let's look at the dividers focus on your goal don't look in any any direction but ahead um and then this october one is just a nice simple gold foil design there is no greater wealth in this world than peace of mind. And then again, just like a nice neutral marbling effect with the rose, I mean, with the gold foiling right here. Good vibes. Purpose fuels passion. This like leopard print. Dream big, work hard, stay focused. Get it done, hashtag, get it done. Keep going and growing. And then last divider here says, keep moving forward. Now, if I flip to the very back page, it has like the notes page here. Like these notes pages gives me like a very goal getter vibe. And in fact, the entire planner gives me like a very goal getter, like the original goal getter vibe. Um, so it's, I love that. Um, and then again, the marbling with plan a happy life. And then the back cover looks like this. So again, this planner I picked up on clearance. I was very excited to, to get it. Um, I was not planning to buy a planner, but because it was on clearance, I got it for $5. I thought I would be able to convert this into my custom daily planner. So of course you saw the title, I'm assuming, um, and that's how you landed here. Um, but what I'm gonna be doing is basically pulling out all the things here now that I've done the flip through um, and putting in my version of my 2022 um, daily planner. So this video will be a mix of like, um, just kind of redating not really redating I'm, I won't be redating in this video but I'll talk you through how I would redate the parts of this um, that would be outdated for 2022 and then I'm gonna set up and just uh, kind of work through like how I would customize this so that way it would work as a daily planner so step one um, is to go through um, and I like to use planners from January into December. And so since this is an August start, I'm gonna remove August, September, October, November, and December from the beginning and I'll move it to the end. So let's take these pages out. I like to take a month out at a time from the discs, just like that. And so this will start in January, just like it says right here. And then it will start in January. It will be January, February, March, April, May, June, July. And then I will flip to the end here and I will add in and in fact I'll only add in the dividers um, because that's the only part that I will be using actually so then I'll set aside right here um, the August pages September pages all right and then here's the October divider all right and then some more pages and then November and December go in and then I have all of the weekly pages right here. Now, I wouldn't use these pages, but I already have the planner that I'm planning to use for Sophia's memory book. Um, and that's really the only memory, the only planner that I use that's a, like a vertical layout. Um, I may 
change my mind. It's still an option for me to change my mind. Um, the planner that I was using for Sophia's memory book is the Sophisticated Florals, and it has a little bit of color in the corner. Um, I was actually fine with it, um, but now, you know, now that I have this planner, I may switch. I just don't know yet. But I wanted these dividers for my personal planner just because it's more my vibe, um, and I left the Sophisticated Florals dividers for Sophia. You know, I don't know. It, it might change up in the next couple of months, um, but for right now, I'm thinking that I will leave it like, my goal is to leave it as I'm kind of planning it out right here. Um, so I'm actually going to work backwards now. August, September, October, and November, and December are all just the dividers. And so now I'm going to work backwards because I have my stack right here. I'm going to take out all the weekly pages, right? And just, at this point, I'm just leaving in the dividers. I probably could have done this more efficiently and just taken everything out and then put the dividers back in. But, you know, either way, all the pages are coming out. last set January okay now what the goal is now is now that I have January what I'm gonna be doing is going through this weekly stack pulling the monthly page this page right here as well as the back page um, and the way that this is gonna work is one of the things that I like to do with like especially if I'm like reorganizing things is I like to have all of January behind the tabs so the example here is um, let me just show you I guess I'll show you for February. It will make more sense with February since I have that all laid out. So this is the February monthly right here, right? Um, and I'm putting the, the monthly back in um, and the weekly pages are right here. And this back page for February is actually March. But one of the things I don't like to have is the March be be this March currently page to be before the March divider. I um, mean, so this February currently page is actually included as part of January and it goes before the divider in the like the normal happy planner like system but what I like to do is to go ahead and put it at the very end and have it be kind of like a wrap up of February so the way that it would work is February would have its monthly and then um, I will put in the daily pages in between here and at the very end of February I will have the February the February monthly page right here like that. So hopefully that makes sense. I'm just going to go back and uh, do this for all of the months. Um, and again, what I'll be doing is putting in the monthly page and then the currently page wherever I can find it. Um, January will be like digging through this pile, um, but it's in there somewhere. Missing the that currently page. I have finished getting in this last page right here. So let's do a flip through now of what I've got. I've basically removed all the weekly pages um, and reordered, moved the like currently pages behind the tab rather in front of the tab. So um, I have the front pages here. Um, I don't actually use the perpetual calendar. Um, and so you saw that kind of mid video, I took out like this back page here. Um, and so I just don't use the, um, I just don't use that page at all. So um, I actually really would want this page to be here. So that way I could just use that one page, but you know, we'll just leave it for right now. I um, mean, then, so then I have the divider with the monthly and these pages are where the uh, daily pages will go. I um, mean, then the January page is there and it just goes like that for all of it, where it's the monthly, where the middle pages, where I'm going to be pasting in the daily pages and then the February. Um, the only things that were a little bit different were the August, um, which has the monthly um, and then has this perpetual calendar 
right there um and then the august was before the august divider so that one again i'm going to be pasting in or gluing in daily pages here um and so that is it will work out um, once I get there. Now, January through July are current. Um, they are the current dates, the correct dates for, um, I'm always out of screen, I'm out of frame, uh, but the July um, is current. January through July is current. The only things I would have to redate are the August 2021 through December 2021 pages since I moved them to the very end. Um, and so for these pages, I'll basically white out this date right here and then renumber um and that's pretty much it i would only have to do the monthly uh, because what i'll be doing is putting in undated daily pages that i can date as i go along so i'm going to set up or actually like just kind of talk you through what i have in terms of daily um pages um and i'll do january and february just to kind of show you what i am thinking um and my goal is to try to use up my stash um and so so i wanted to show you what i pulled from my stash the very first thing i pulled were these um daily hourly pages i actually love this format um the only thing that i don't like is just like the extra color here but i love the hourly format i love the long task list here um, i love having the top priorities um i know that um in the like updated version of the like undated daily pages they've had like these priority boxes that were in boxes and i don't really love that um just I feel boxed in, I guess, um, with, with that idea here. It's just lines, and I love that. The one thing that this does have um, that the the updated undate, undated dailies don't have is like an additional sheet on the back, which is good and bad. It just means that, you know, like you end up with like a lot of extra space if you're not going to be using the back. Um, but I also find like for me personally, I don't keep my personal planner for very long. Like I, I will keep it for maybe two or three months past the date where I've used it, but it is a functional planner for me. So I don't need to hold on to it. So I'm not worried so much about bulk um, and just trying to save these pages. What I'm going to do is just pull a handful. I'm not going to worry about counting it. Um, I do want to try to get 31, but it's not like super concerning to me if it's not exactly 31. I'm going to paste or like put it in here. And oops, I'm trying to put way too many at one time. So let me go ahead and put this in here. Okay, last set. It's probably 31. It's probably not. Um, I will eventually go back. Like once January becomes like comes a little bit closer, I will go ahead and go through and like start planning out some things. So I'll count at that point. But I'm not worried about that so much at this point. So first thing I'm gonna do is actually take my glue stick or tape. Um, if I had double sided tape, tape runner, I would definitely use it. But the very first thing is I am definitely using losing a sheet here. Um, if if you don't want to lose that sheet then certainly you don't have to do this part but i want it to be kind of a con continuous planner that looks very similar to the papillon setup and so i am going to paste this down trying to be as straight as possible i'm just going to paste that down right and then i'm going to go to the back right again keep in mind that right here is like that january currently page and i'm going to paste the very last page um and eventually like i've already mentioned i will go back in and make sure i have 31 31 pages um i also i'm trying to think maybe one of the things i should do in 2022 is not worried about doing like daily pages every single day um and just you know do the pages as i need them and not like have to have 31 days for january and or 28 for february or whatever right so this is the first month all right so we have january right this is the monthly. I like did not glue that very well. I'll trim that just so it looks, but you can kind of see it's definitely not like aligned. It's not super straight, but I'm okay with that. But it is glued down. And so now it just flips straight into the daily pages, just like this. And then I have all the daily pages and they look like this, where it's the blank side and then the kind of lined side. And then at the very end, I have this back page that's also glued down and then it flips straight over just like that. So that's what January looks like. Again, try to use up my stash, adapt what I have to the needs that I have, which is daily planning, but also um, just being able to keep track of the things that I have and use them up. So um, I will be updating the system as I go along in 2022. Um, my personal daily planner is the one that changes a lot. And so I think this one will shift as my needs shift, as the seasons of 
the year kind of come around and I use it more or use it less. Those things will be things that I talk through um, in my flip throughs. Um, so I hope you stick around for that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, use your stash. Um, I definitely encourage that. Um, I hope that you are enjoying these videos, these setup videos. Um, I enjoy putting them together and at least talking to you about what my process is and how I kind of adapt these things. Um, and for right now, this is my setup for my personal planner. I've got it set up for January and February. And as the next couple of months come up, I will add more to this to this planner. Um, and in the meantime, I have a stash of like weekly pages that I can use for note taking and some other things. So this will go into my pile of of outdated cuts for use elsewhere um, in videos and other things. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. And until the next video, Bye guys.